I want to say that it has been a long journey. It has been a journey almost nine months we have been at it. And I'm glad to say that we have reached the stage this morning that we are about to sign this very important document, this important contract, as would assist Skellig in the overall development of Skellig. It will do some fundamental things for Skellig. It will first of all put Skellig on the, on the edge of technology, which in a sense will be the implementation of the smart meters, and that will definitely facilitate Skellig in doing quite a lot of things that they weren't able to do in the past. It is a project that basically probably is the first of its kind in the OECS region. So I want to congratulate Skellig for that, for being the pioneer and to be in the forerunner in this particular project. I want to say also, it will also facilitate the government's policy and Skellig's policy as it pertains to renewable energy. Because it will facilitate, as it moves forward, the implementation of the feed-in tariff for those persons who would want to get into the renewable energy side in terms of the solar panels and all aspects of renewable energy. The smart meter will definitely provide that opportunity for those persons who would want to go in that direction. I would hope that because of this, more people would want to go into that direction in terms of being able to buy into our policy on renewable energy. I want to say too that it will give the workers in Skellig an opportunity to develop a new skill, a new ideas. It is an avenue that is virtually new and it will provide the staff within Skellig I hope that we'll take the advantage of the smart metering program to develop new ideas, new skills in which they can build another platform to improve upon the efficiencies within Skellig. I think that is very critical as we move forward so that Skellig can become more efficient and be able to serve its customers in a more efficient way. I hope that that will be one of the end products of this, of this important project. It is a project that overall will cost in the region of almost 40 million EC dollars when it is completed. That is quite a large project, large sums of investment for a small company as Kellek, 40 million EC dollars. We do hope that within the efficient operation of Skellig, they will be able in quick time to live up to their commitment to the SIDF who will definitely be financing this project. We would want to ensure that the efficiencies will not only be in the area of improving the operations, but improving in the accounting side to make sure that at the end of the day, SIDF will be able to get their returns on their investment. And of course, Kellek will be able to get the, the returns on the investment. I want to speak a little bit about the smart metering program because I think it is very important. The smart metering program will do a couple of things for us at Skellig. It will be able to introduce, just as cable and wireless has now a prepared system, Skellig will be able to introduce early o'clock a prepared system for some customers who would want to be on their prepared system. It will be able to facilitate customers to monitor at their homes those equipment that consume a certain level amount of energy. So they'll be able to monitor directly in the home if they have on the microwave, if they have on the hot water to see exactly how much energy these appliances are actually consuming and be able to monitor based on their own consumption. We have had over the last two years a lot of customers come in and complain they would want to have their meters checked because they're not sure whether they are having the correct readings because they find that their readings are quite high, but sometimes they're based on their consumption. This will be able for those customers to follow their consumption based on the utilization of the equipment. It will also reduce those requests coming into Skellig to have meter checks. Because those meters, once you begin to tamper on those meters, Skellig right away will be able to see those individuals who are tampering on their meters. So that is a warning to customers out there. 
as it's been done now, some persons are tampering with skeletal meters. In the future, once the smart meters are in place, skeletal will be able to monitor without going into the field to see exactly which meters are being, are being tampered with. So that is a warning to some of the customers out there who are doing that. It will also give customers the opportunity to say to Skellic that I'm monitoring you, I'm seeing what you're doing based on their own, their own consumption that is taking place. And I think at the end of the day, it will all be down in the benefit, not only for Skellic, but for those consumers who are out there who are taking the services from Skellic. And it will develop a better relationship, a better confidence within Skellic based on the systems that they are putting in place at this smart metering program. So I want to commend Skellic. I want to commend all the negotiators. I want to commend Mr. Sobotka for his patience. As the chairman said, anybody who knows him would have to develop a sense of patience for <laughs> his interaction. And I'm sure over the last nine months during these negotiations from the RFP up to the signing of the contract, you would have appreciated that this is a gentleman who has quite a lot of patience. He's, he's just like Job. <laughs> so <laughs> I often call him that, you know. So. He's a person like that. So I want to say to you that though it has taken us this time, this length of time, I think we have reached a junction now that we are about to sign, and we can only look forward to the benefits of this project for the people of St. Kitts and Nevis and for the wider Caribbean, because we expect that this being the pilot project, persons will be coming to see what is happening here, and we can spread our good news to the people of the region. I want to thank all of the persons who have played their part to make sure that we have reached the day, today, the stage that we have reached. Thank you very much.